Hi there, Little Plum here. I just finished building these two Austrian houses behind me. And when I go on my balcony and look out over the view below, I see this random wild village that I found full of free roaming wild villagers. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, hmm, that's not quite the view that I would want from my Austrian ski house. And even though I have these wonderful free ranging villagers down there, I think it's time I build them some, some new houses so that we can make it look like they really do belong in the Austrian Alps instead of, you know, in the middle of a savanna. <laughs> so I think we should go down there and get started and build some different houses for our free range villagers down there. So let's get started by laying out our first house that we're going to build, kind of putting the spots where our house is going to be and building some of the foundation to kind of get an idea. And we're just going to fill it in and we're going to be using white concrete for this build. Because the color is really, really quite perfect. Oh, and I can already see the villager is mad and now he's happy. Don't worry, buddy, you're gonna like this. Let's go up a bit. One, two, three, four. So we went up five total. We're gonna add another four blocks to the one below. And this house is gonna go up a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit, I don't know. It's not gonna be a flat roof, that's for sure. I know I built a block down there, but that's kind of marking the corner and we're going to have an overhang. The roof is going to overhang over on that area. So here we got our front and oops, let's get rid of that one. Here we go. That's what it looks like from the back. So that's going to be our front facade for our first house. All right. So the walls are five blocks high. Next thing we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to dig out behind it because I kind of built this into the hill, but you know, we're actually going to want a house inside. So let's kind of clear out some area here, remove some dirt. And now we're ready to place some more walls. I'm kind of just clearing out the, you know, the outside of what I have to. We'll go ahead and clear the rest later. I just want to get these walls down. Also going to go five high here and let's just fill it in. And this is our side wall, the first one. And we cleared out a little bit more dirt and let's work on our back walls. We want these to look the same as what we have on the front. Hey Chicky. So we'll go in three, four, five. And then the next one's going to go up one, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. This one will be the same. Can't quite reach. Ah, can't quite reach. One. There we go. We'll just set it up how we want it to be. And then we'll be able to reach because when we're five blocks tall, we can only reach four blocks. I guess we have to lay our foundation down first and then go from there. All right, here we go. I think we're getting closer now. We're going to finish this foundation and then we'll be able to build up the rest of our walls. So the way I build sometimes is not very, uh, I guess you could say clean or well organized. 
sometimes I kind of are, I'm starting on one wall and then I move to a different wall and then I stop and do the floor. Sometimes I run out of material and then just move on to a different part of the project until I can get more material. Sometimes I leave holes that I have to go and fill in later. But you know, this is, this is Minecraft. Thankfully, nothing is going to really fall to the ground when you're building here. If I was a real builder, man, my houses would never stand. Or I'd have to learn the correct way of building them anyway. Now, before I fill in the wall, these walls are very, very flat. But in our actual building, I, I'm going to want them to be a little bit set in a little bit. I don't want these to be, I, I don't want to make a box. We're going to make, we need a little bit of character. We need a little bit of form other than just a rectangle. So we're going to pull in some walls a little bit. And we're going to make it a, with a little bit of a, we're going to make it a little bit more interesting than what we had. So we're going to put a wall in here and have the house kind of go this direction. And then we're going to come here. And what that means is we're going to end up taking down this wall here because we're actually going to move it in a little bit. So I placed it to kind of get a good idea of the outline, but... You know what? Let's let's pull it in a little bit. Oops. Didn't mean to do those blocks, but now fix it. There, and these are gonna be That one's got to go too. There we go. This is how we want it to look. So we have a few blocks here. This is actually where our door is going to be. So let's just open that up so we can see it. And oops. And we have one of our free range villagers. He's watching us. He's wondering, what are you guys doing over there? He's curious, huh? How cute. Aww. Isn't it nice when the wild ones just kind of come up to you? You know, you don't have to do anything just because they're curious what you're doing. Aww. Nope. He's found something else to do. Okay. Aww. All right. Let's finish these walls finally. So we finished the outline of our house, our foundation, our walls are up. I think that's exactly how I want it to be. We are going to have to add a little bit more wall because we're going to put a roof in. We're not going to have a flat roof. We're going to have a little bit of a slope to it. So we will be adding a few more white blocks. And I think right here, that one right there is where I want the middle of it to be. A little bit to the right of the door. But let's just get started with the roof. We're going to And we're going to do the same roof that I really, really like to build. We're going to start out here with the slab. And we're going to do a stair. Slab. And then stair. Oops. And then we're going to do slab. Stair. Nope. 
Sun's going down. I better hurry up. And here, I believe, is where we wanted the middle of it to be. And we're going to have it overhang on the other side. Let's just pull out these slabs and let's go take a nap. And we'll come back and finish it. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. Starting to take shape. Still have to clean out some dirt and some trees, but we'll get there. So on the very top, we had a slab and that's gonna be the very high point of our roof right there. And we're gonna do then a stair on the other side because we're gonna start going down in the other direction. And we'll do the same pattern, but we'll go in the opposite direction. So it'll go stair, slab, stair, slab. And we wanna pull this all the way out so that we have a bit of a roof when we come inside then. So if it's raining or something or snowing, we're not getting wet as we're shuffling in our bag for our keys to get the door open. Now we just have to bring that roof all the way across to the other side and fill it in and finish it up. And we'll pull it out one block so we have a bit of an overhang on the other side as well. All right, let's take a look. Here we are. Our roof is somewhat finished. It looks a little choppy still, so we need to add either a slab or a stair on the underside where we have those really hard 90 degree angles. But overall, it's looking good. You can see we have a little bit of depth to the house. It's not just flat. We have a door, um, but it looks like we're gonna have to add a little bit more to the roof. We're going to add slabs here. Here we are. Oop, no, that one already had one. That doesn't need one there. So, ooh, actually, hmm. No. Normally that slab would be right at the bottom of the stair. So I think, yeah, let's, let's fix that. Let's bring that up one, up half a block. That broke the pattern there. Can't have that, right? <laughs> there we go. And now let's just put slaps in all of those, fill in those holes. Let's look. Yeah, see how nice it is over there on the left? a nice roof you could use upside down stairs too but I think the slabs look really good so that's good the next one is right right here yep there we go was that it let's take a look yep that was it that was all of them there's our roof now it's finished looking good uh, on the back too <laughs> Don't forget the back, right guys? Now you can see a little bit easier where I was putting those slabs before. Oh, we already have them there. Good. All right, let's see. What we should do next is make some windows. We're gonna start with windows that are three blocks high. So we're gonna get right one, two, three. So they're kind of, you know, our Walls are five blocks high, so it's the three blocks in the middle that we're getting rid of and adding some glass. Because our walls are so white, we're gonna use these gray stained glass panes. I 
There we go. Now we have some windows. Let's add some more. Right here we could use some windows. That would be a really nice window right there. We have a bit of a taller wall so we can go up a bit higher. That's right, we need a block on the other side so we can place our glass panes. Looking good. There's our door. Now I've been noticing that they've been building a lot of windows, these kind of corner windows, kind of wherever you were going to have your kitchen so you can look out and see. And I find them to be really quite cool. And I see a lot of modern Austrian, European, German style houses. And I think we need to have those for our villagers as well. Looking cool. All right, let's do a quick flyover. Okay, the back we still need to work on. We still need to clean this up over here. <laughs> Wonder what he was doing, that little villager over there. We're gonna have to do a little bit of landscaping, but let's work on the front a bit. It's kind of looking pretty boring right now, so let's see what we can do. Let's put some trap doors. But let's put one up there and let's go all the way down to about where the door is going to be, maybe a little higher. I think that's good. That was four. Now we do three. Now we'll need another three. And then we'll need two. Oh, and one short. I'll have to add that later. And then we're going to add a little bit of some oak, dark oak wood slabs. Let's pull that around. Yeah, there's that spruce trap door. There we go. Okay, that's looking better already. It almost looks like we have an extra storage space up there where maybe we could put our hay or our cows, but you know, this is a house, not a barn. And I think we need to pull our roof out just a little bit so we have a little bit more of an overhang because I didn't quite put enough. Pull it out one more block. There we go. Let's put some dark oak gates, dark oak fence. We'll do one fence, two gates, one fence, one gate, one fence, two gates, one fence to kind of decorate it. Let's add a little bit of some light here or some chains or some flowers to kind of make it a little more fancy when you're coming in. You want to be able to see where we are. And let's make a little seating area. Yeah, let's do it here. Let's pull it around the corner, actually. And it's already starting to take shape. It's starting to look a lot better. Let's see a dark oak door and okay, it's still really simple, but it, it looking it's looking much better. It's looking much more welcoming. It's looking kind of cute. I think we still need to work on the inside. So 
I think I'm pretty much done with the outside for right now. I mean, we still have some landscaping to do, but we have the basic design of the house finished. And we have some windows, we have some doors, we have a little bit of design, decoration around it. Uh, we still need a little bit of work. We need to clean up some pathways and do some landscaping, which will kind of fancy, make the house a little bit fancier anyway. So, um, but in the meantime, I think, I think I'm gonna go work on the inside and I'll come back when, when it's done and show it to you guys. All right, guys, this is the inside. What do you think? Oh, look at, I already have a free roaming villager. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I just did a really simple design in the inside. I kept the floor stairs going down and up. I added some candles, a bush, some more lighting, and I did a little bit of landscaping. This I need to finish still, but we cleared out the back a bit. We made some paths so our villagers can find where we're going. We have a nice little path going down the hill so we don't have to do a lot of jumping. Let's just take a quick peek at what it's looking like. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. See that entranceway with some stairs and some paths and some slabs? That's going to make it easier to get into the house, for me anyway. I don't know if the villagers will use it or not, but we'll see. But yeah, I already, we have an azalea bush. We have some workstations. We have some free roaming villagers that have decided to take house here. Oh, I couldn't be prouder. I made this for them and they decided that they do want to live here. That is really, really cool. Or at least work here. I have a nice view of my houses, which the villagers have not wandered into, thankfully. And here they have a really nice little place to work and to live. It's decorated really simply and really cute. If you put in too much stuff, the villagers seem to have trouble moving around. So I didn't want to make it too packed full of things, but I wanted to make it nice and kind of homey. And I wanted to be a, a place where the villagers were like, hey, I'd like to come in here. I'd like to work in here. You know, since they're free roaming villagers I can't really force them to do anything so I want them to come in on their own free will and do some work maybe take a nap I don't know not die but thank you guys for watching um, I hope you enjoyed my video um, I hope you got some inspiration or maybe come up with some ideas of your own um, if you have any questions go ahead and put it down in the comments and we'll take a look at it and um, yeah otherwise we will see you later when we make our next house for these villagers. They're gonna have such a cute village. They're gonna be so happy. Oh, I hope so anyway. All right, thank you guys. Take care, tschüss.